In statistics, it's very often useful to look at an entire population and try to figure out what proportion of that population or what percentage of that population would have a particular trait. And that is the proportion statistics. And we can compute proportions for populations based on a particular sample. So we'll use a sample to estimate the overall population proportion. And we can do these sorts of statistics on our TI-84 calculator. We'll start off with only looking at one sample that represents one population proportion. And we'll look at confidence intervals first. All of our calculator functions for confidence intervals and for hypothesis tests are stored under STAT and then scroll twice to the right to test. The first six options you see listed here are all hypothesis tests and then the next options if we kept scrolling down would be confidence intervals. So we have the z-test and the t-test, those are for sample means, and then we have the two sample z-test and the two sample t-test, again those are for sample means, and then we have the one prop z-test and the two prop z-test. Those are the ones that we're going to want to use in just a minute when we do hypothesis testing in association with proportions. And the ones that we want right now are the one prop z, but we want it for the interval. So option alpha a, or we could just scroll down until we see a, would be the one prop z int, and that's what we want. So we'll press enter and then it prompts us for X and X is the number of successes that we have. So if we have 300 in our sample that have the particular trait that we're looking for, we'll enter 300 here. And then N is our total sample size and so for our example we'll say a thousand and then our confidence level is like the confidence level, 95% confidence level, 99% confidence level. This example that we're going to look at, we're going to say a 95% confidence interval, so that's 0.95 confidence level. The C level is always between 0 and 1, and we just take the percentage and divide it by 100. And then we press calculate, highlight and press calculate. And this tells us that our proportion is going to be between 0.2716 and 0.3284. If we were to express that as percentages, our proportion would be between 27.16% and 32.84%. We can use the same data set and instead of doing a confidence interval, we can instead do a hypothesis test. We would do the same sort of process by going to STAT and then going to TEST. This time we're going to use the TEST, the one prop Z test, and that's option 5. Again, we're going to use the same X and the same N. We're going to hypothesize that our proportion is more than 25%. So P0 would be 0.25 and then our proportion, alternative hypothesis, we would make greater than, since it's greater than 0.25 that we're interested in, and then we'll scroll down to calculate, and we see that we have a very minute p-value, 1.304 times 10 to the negative fourth, and so that's going to be very strong evidence that our proportion is more than 25 percent in this case. Now we want to look at the two sample proportion Z intervals. So we're going back to the confidence intervals, but this time we're going to compare two different populations to see if their proportions are identical or nearly identical. And for the confidence interval, we're going to try to see what the difference between those proportions might be. So we'll go to STAT and scroll to the right to test because all of our 
hypotheses tests, and confidence intervals are underneath here. And we want alpha b, so the 2 prop z int option is the one we want for two proportions and for confidence intervals. And so alpha is the green key, and then b is up here near the top, and that will give us the 2 prop z int. We have already entered information about our two different population samples, so we have 300 that have the attribute we're looking for out of a thousand, and then our second sample, which represents a different population, has 279 with the trait that we're looking for out of 985. We're looking for, again, the 95% confidence interval, so our C level is 0.95, and so then we just highlight, calculate, and press enter. This tells us that the difference between the first population and the second population proportions is going to be between negative 0.0232 and positive 0.05673. Expressed in percentage, the difference will be between negative 2.32% and positive 5.673%. If we wanted to do the same sort of thing with a hypothesis test for two samples representing two populations and looking at the proportions, again we do stat, scroll right to test. This time we want to use option 6 for the 2 prop z test. Again we'll enter all of our data. Here we're using the same data set where we have 300 out of 1,000 with the desired attribute and our second data set has 279 out of 985 with the desired attribute and we want to hypothesize that they are not equal and we want to calculate that. Here our p-value is 0.4168 and so that's a pretty high p-value and so we will most likely not reject the null hypothesis so we won't be able to conclude that these two are in fact different from each other.